Hello everyone and welcome back to the Cloudmersive YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate a limited white space removal action which focuses on trimming only the leading and trailing white space from a body of input text. If you're watching this video in the first place, I'm guessing you're aware of how significant extra white space is for various formulas and data validation steps in your flow, and I'm also guessing you know how it's critical to remove that white space before passing your data downstream to subsequent steps. This specific action can play an important role in cleansing your data for downstream operations, and it's really easy to use, so I'll demonstrate by setting up a quick white space removal button using the Instant Cloudflow action. First things first, I'm clicking Create on the homepage and selecting the Instant Cloudflow option. After giving my flow a name, I'm selecting the option to trigger the flow manually and then clicking Create at the bottom to head to the flow diagram page. From here, I'm first setting up a manual text input, which will just allow me to use this flow over and over again if I want to. I'm creating a simple manual text input with a clear label, and after that set in stone, I'm ready to move to the Cloudmersive Connector step. To get my Cloudmersive Connector, I'm clicking New Step and typing Cloudmersive into the search bar. From here, I'm selecting the Cloudmersive File Processing Connector with the purple logo from the list of options below. Clicking on that connector brings me to the Actions list, and from here I can type Trim Leading and Trailing Whitespace into the connector, or something close to that, and find the relevant action for my flow. If you haven't used this connector before, please note that you'll be asked to input your login details to authenticate the connector access at this stage. While it says premium all over the place here, you can still use this connector for free by registering a free account on our website and copying your free tier API key into the required field. This free tier key will provide a limit of 800 API calls per month with no additional commitments, and you can easily upgrade to an enterprise account if the need arises in the future. Once I have the connector set up, all I need to do now is parse my text from the manual input stage into the text containing white space field. To do so, I'm using the dynamic content window and snagging the custom field I created initially. Once that's plugged in, I'm all done and can begin testing my flow. After waiting a few seconds for my flow to save, I'm clicking test in the upper right corner of the page and navigating to the manual input step. At this point, I'm copying and pasting my text into the manual input field and running the flow shortly after. This flow should always run really quickly given the simplicity of the data involved, so after a very short wait, I can review the output of my connector to ensure the operation was carried out successfully. As you can see, within the connector body, the trailing and leading white space from my original text input is now gone, and I'm left with a nicely cleaned up body of text which won't cause any problems in my downstream data validation operations. It's just that easy, you can easily build this into any of your data validation flows to ensure that data is properly formatted and take away the need to even check this aspect of your data in the future. And with that, we've reached the end of this video. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like and subscribe buttons and feel free to check out the dozens of additional demonstration videos we have posted to see how else Cloudmersive connectors can make an impact in your Power Automate ecosystem.